Brandon Todd for iTalk 1067 here with head coach of the Sholo Cougars, Coach Reisdorf. And uh, Coach, thank you, first of all, for your time talking with me today. You've had, a you've had a tough couple of weeks, okay? We're 0-2 right now going into a really tough opponent in Queen Creek. Tell me, what are your thoughts about this upcoming opponent and your thoughts on the season thus far? Well, I think we have had a tough season, but I think we're learning and we're improving, and that's the main thing. Are you, are you getting better or are you getting more defeated? And, and I feel like we truly are getting better. And uh, Queen Creek is, is a very tough opponent, maybe the best team that, that I've ever faced since being at Sholo in, since 2007. Very fast defensively. Their running back is one of the best in the state. He's headed to the Air Force Academy on a full-ride scholarship. And so very talented, well-coached team. Travis Sherman, the head coach there, I've coached with. Really one of my best friends. Their, their defensive coordinator gave me my first job, Roger Suckamel. And so... Man, I would love to beat their butt, but what a, what a good team they are and, uh, and what a challenge it will be for our guys. Coach, give me an insight on those guys. Thank you for the segue into this next question. Um, you have some, some seniors who, who probably have never started 0-2, probably in their four years of playing a varsity or their three years with the, with the possibility of starting the season 0-3. Tell me, um, is that something that's on their minds? Are they, are they prepared for it? Have you spoken about it? What are their thoughts about this 0-2 season start? You know, we talk a lot going into the season before knowing that that could be a possibility that we could lose games and, and the mentality of we need to improve each week, that it's far better to play somebody tough and, and lose a tight game or lose a game than kill somebody by 60 points and not learn anything. You know, life is about learning and football is no different than life. You know, it, it's uh it's a great preparation for life. And so we, we are trying to learn. We're trying to improve. And I feel like uh, through our defeats, we've, we've learned and we've made changes and we've made a lot of changes and, and changes for the better that are going to help us ultimately try to achieve our goal of winning a championship. Coach, I had an opportunity to catch up with one of your seniors, Jerem Fawcett, and I actually asked him that same question, among others. Let's take a listen about what Jerem had to say. Jerem, it's a tough start to the season. 0-2, you've faced some really tough opponents, and you're going into this week. Um, I would say probably your toughest opponent yet in Queen Creek. Tell me, how are your thoughts on the season thus far, and what are your thoughts going into this week? Um, honestly, I think we haven't played to our potential. We got really lax in the second half of the Tempe prep game and just lost it, and it sucks. <laughs> Jerem, here you are in your senior year. You're running back on offense, you're safety on defense, um, looking for you to be a leader on the field and off the field. How are you coping with that, uh, that pressure, and what are you doing both on and off the field to make sure the underclassmen are staying in tune about what's going on? Um, on the field, you just got to – I keep my head up at all times. You can't let them see you get down at all because then that will get them down too. So, And off the field, I just tell them – do your best in school. Don't be ineligible because that's the worst way to not play. Jeremy, it is a possibility that tonight you could start 0-3. And I can't remember the last time Sholo Cougar started a season 0-3. Um, is that something that's been in your mind this last week? And how are you dealing with those thoughts of possibly starting your senior year 0-3? Um, yeah, it's been in my mind. Uh, we've just been more intense in practice so that we won't go 0-3. But if it happens, I mean, they're a tough opponent. It's it's a possibility, but if it happens, uh, it'll definitely fire us up. We'll be angry. We'll have uh, hunger to win more games. Last question. You've, uh, you've had a change at the starting quarterback position, and uh, Quentin Clark last week was his first week, and we, as we expected, there were some hiccups, but as far as practice goes and the guys rallying around him, how was the team's thoughts about Quentin Clark at the helm? Um, I like it. I think we all like it. Um, it's he's definitely a bigger threat to run the ball and so it just makes him more dangerous when he rolls out Jeremy, i appreciate your time man good luck tonight and uh we'll see you we'll see you down the road coach obviously last week there was big news or well a few weeks ago big news about the quarterback position with quentin clark stepping in uh tempe prep was his first game and as we expected and first guy ever being behind the center there were some hiccups but how is he um, handling the situation? How is he handling the pressure? And how has this week looked compared to last week in practice? You know, it's a lot more than just handling being a quarterback because trying to be a quarterback in our system after one or two weeks is just not going to be executed perfectly. Things are not going to go great. And that's exactly what I told him before the game. I said, Quentin, I'm going to tell you straight up right now, you're going to have challenges in this game. And what I'm most concerned about is how you respond to those challenges. 
And you need to know that there's a lot of eyes watching you, not just the eyes in the stands, but your guys on the field are watching you. And they're going to feed off of your energy. And so if you put your head down and you get defeated, we're going to be in trouble. And if you rise up and you battle and you keep fighting, they're going to keep fighting. And so I'm looking for what type of leader are you going to be for this team? Not so much what type of quarterback you're going to be. You're, you're a phenomenal athlete. And, and, uh, and we need to take advantage of that. That's why you're a quarterback. I don't, I don't lack confidence in your ability from, a, from, a, from an athletic standpoint. What I need to see in you is can you lead this team from a confidence standpoint and from a leadership standpoint. Coach, two more questions. What has practice been like this last week? How's the intensity in practice? And what does Sholo need to do to beat Queen Creek tonight? I'll be honest with you. Monday was a pretty rough practice, uh, maybe the worst practice we've had. And uh, we've had practices like this in the past. I, know, I remember a few years ago, uh, we had the worst week of practice, not just one practice. We had the worst week of practice going into Snowflake, which was a huge game. And then we came in and played lights out. And so hopefully that happens. <laughs> we, didn't have a, we didn't have a whole week of bad practices. We had a day of bad practices. And, and uh, you know, that's coaching. We've got to come with passion. We've got to come with prep, be prepared. And uh, I feel like we could, I could have done a better job in being prepared for that practice. And, and that was a reason why we didn't have the practice we wanted. But, but at the end of the day, we got to have passion. This game is, you got to play this game with passion. And, uh, and, and you have to practice with passion. And, and we were lacking that. What does she have to do tonight to beat Queen Creek? You know what? If we played Queen Creek ten times, they, they might beat us nine times. But there's always a chance. And, and that one time can be tonight. If, if they will go out and execute and keep fighting for fourth quarters, we can beat this team. Do we have any business beating this team? Probably not. And, uh, but we can. And, 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 I, and I like our chances because we have a good game plan. We have solid kids that can go out and execute this. It, it's not going to be about X's and O's. It's going to be about passion, determination, and fight because they're going to fight and we've got to answer. Things aren't going to go perfect. You know, we might get down. Last night we played our JV freshmen. Our freshmen were down 36 to nothing. And right be at halftime, right before halftime, two minutes going in, we scored 22 points uh, in two minutes because our kids refused to quit and kept fighting. And, and that's the message tonight. Who's going to step up when times aren't going great and keep fighting? And you get a couple breaks here, a couple breaks there, get some turnovers exactly what happened last week with Tempe Prep. They had no business beating us, but, uh, you know, they got some breaks. They got some momentum. We turned the ball over, and next thing you know, we're losing a game we shouldn't have lost, and, and that can happen tonight going the other way. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time, and we're looking forward to seeing you tonight, and, uh, you know, we'll catch up with you down the road. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. You're welcome, Coach. You can catch the show of the Cougars taking on Queen Creek tonight on iTalk 106.7 and watch it worldwide on iTalk1067.com.